Hi everyone, just a, a quick video on uh, variable resistors, uh, resistor packs as some people call them, that you use for your uh, blow motor fan for inside your car. So um, where are these used? These are only used on the older older type fans where you've actually got different speed settings. Uh, if you've got a new digital one that's got a, a, uh, a constant variable all the way around there, then that'll be a, a variable resistor or more accurately, it'll be a potentiometer because uh, that'll have a track there and that'll give different resistance as you go around. So you'll only get these uh, resistor packs for these that have different fan speeds. So how does it work? Well, as the name suggests, there's various levels of resistance within this for different speed settings. So obviously zero, uh, the supply to the fan will be zero volts, as you'd expect. Um, and then at speed four, what you'd get is direct um, battery voltage. So that would actually bypass these uh, and you'd end up with direct 12 volt uh, straight from the battery. So at speed four, you get 12 volts. So the resistor pack is for the settings in between. So that's your answer to what the symptom would be. If your blower motor only works on full speed or not at all on zero, then it'll be the resistor pack that's failed. The resistor pack goes down, all the speeds in between uh, full speed and uh, zero will go down. So we're going to test the resistor pack because this one's failed. This is the old one and I've got the new one here. Um, roughly speaking, you can obviously leave these plugged in the car and test them uh, for voltage. And what you'd expect at speed three is around about nine volts because the resistor's holding back three volts. At speed two, you'll be looking for something around six volts. And at speed one, it'll only be allowing three volts worth of current uh, to the fan. And that's why the speed of the fan changes at different speed settings because you're using resistors to restrict the amount of current and voltage uh, to your fan. So if I look at this brand new one here that I'm about to put in the car, I'll have four pins here. Um, and that is, I'm going to be putting my uh, red multimeter lead onto this pin, and then the other three will represent the three speeds, one, two, and three, uh, on, the, um, on, the, on, the, on the dashboard there. So set my multimeter to Amiga, to ohms, to resistance, and I put it on the lowest setting here, which is 200. Uh, I'm not expecting huge amounts of resistance. There's not a lot of wiring in these. Uh, and as you can see, the black wire's on COM, which is for Earth. And then I've put it on the, the Ohm's uh, Omega sign there as well. Um, one showing open circuit. If I quickly cross these, it should show a complete circuit and give me a reading of how much resistance is lost. Um, so I know that it's calibrated and working. So first of all, put it on, on this one, as I said I would. So pop it there and then I'll move along. So the first pin, if it's dancing around a little bit, let me just get that to settle down. One ohm. So I've got one at one ohm on pin number one. On pin number two, I have two point five or thereabouts, 2.5 ohms, about 200, and then the third one will be, because they're not necessarily in order, so I'm doing this test so I can show which speed settings which, excuse me, try that again. Got a lot of movement here. Point 0.4 ohms or thereabouts. So 0 0.4 ohms at 200. So look at it. This one here is giving the least resistance. So that will be speed four. The middle one's giving the highest resistance. So that will be speed one. And then the first one that I touched is showing one ohms of resistance. So that will be speed two. The more resistance, the less current and voltage is allowed through, the slower the motor will go. Just so you know, if yours has failed, the quick test to look at it is, I'll do it on this one as well, so you can see the difference. So, as I say, when these packs go down, they all go down. So if I put my red one there again, and touch any other pin, if I touch all three of them, still showing open circuit, one represents open circuit, open circuit there, open circuit there and open circuit there. So all this pack's collapsed and therefore the customer would only have their fan working on, on 12 volts on the highest speed setting for the fan only. Um, 
So yeah, why do they fail? Well, obviously they live in the dashboard, so they get pick up moisture and sometimes like this one, hopefully you can see there's a little bit of corrosion on there. So that can be a reason. Corrosion obviously is going to take more current to push through to do its job. So the current's going to build up and that could blow a resistor, such as this one here. But also there might be another reason. Uh, a common one, this was um, normally the blow motor. So that's your blow motor itself. If it's sat in the dashboard for 10 or 12 years or so, uh, maybe even less, and it builds up resistance in the motor, the motor can degrade. But also the bearings and the output shaft can get rust on them and bits of moisture and it doesn't run smoothly. So it takes more effort for that motor to be turned and spun uh, and therefore it needs more current. So the current coming in through this resistor pack will be higher than what it was designed for. So you can take this out and replace it, but a lot of customers will find that within two or three weeks it's blown the brand new one because this isn't the cause. This is the um, consequence of normally your blow motor uh, wearing out, generating more resistance and therefore blowing your resistor pack. Um, I hope that makes sense and uh, we'll see you on the next one.